Literary Essence with me, Ikwe. Today is October 11, 2024. We're moving from step 18 to step 19. So action day and manifest. So if you're uh, looking to, you know, do something, sign a new contract, some, starting something new, today is a day. How are you feeling? I woke up with a crazy dream. Um, yes, yeah, so I will talk more about the dream. <laughs> but our dreams are really funny. It tell us what we are holding on to. And it's a sign of release, sign of all kinds of things. And uh, it's, it's always nice to keep track of your dreams. Have you have have you having have you guys been having some crazy dreams? <laughs> You're not alone. My dream has like I um I basically I put on a meditation like uh, recording audio, and I went to bed, and then I woke up feeling so scared. Like um I was alone in this big house, and somehow, like yeah, I the feeling that I had in my dream was just very much like fear. I'm like, okay, why am I so scared in my dream? And it's like, what did this meditation do to me? Anyways, I, I wanted to reprogram and recreate the new story, a more fun one. So I set the intention, okay, I'm going to put on this meditation again. And please <laughs> erase anything, <laughs> release anything that no longer serves me. And But I'm also back on my head thinking like, wow, maybe I'm, I'm releasing this fear in my subconscious that I didn't really know how much I've carried. Like fear, sadness, those are like the main theme that have been coming up for me. Yeah, always, <laughs> that's funny. Rhonda, good morning everyone. Welcome to my talking show. <laughs> so it's cloudy in Vancouver, but it's still nice, so I decided to do it outside. A lot of people are posting a picture of Aura, including the people in Vancouver, which is crazy. Like, yeah, it's like at many parts of the world, I think we were able to see the Aura. Um, I do not follow news, so I'm kind of like, I didn't know that you were able to see that. <laughs> I feel like I missed out on it, but um, I, I received that blessing. <laughs> I think it's, you know, um, yeah, the... The earth is moving and, um, you know, as it's, um, I'm just looking at people doing things. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, you know, whether we believe it or not, it thinks to moving so fast. And if you're feeling like, you know, ungrounded, it's, it's very important to ground ourselves and, um, it's time for us to co-create and trust the unknown <laughs> because trusting the unknown is kind of like that's a faith you know you being having faith but like seeing the unknown and feel apprehensive about it which is the fear and we have a choice we can't see the unknown right <laughs> i mean what's that word we can we can't see the Unknown, so what's gonna happen? We can't really see it, but the, that's when we um, we can decide: Are we gonna trust, or are we gonna, you know, just feel fearful about it? Hi, everyone! It's a beautiful day today. Oh, that's awesome, Nanyan. So where are you located? Okay, let's uh, let's ground ourselves for like a little bit. It's mostly for me. I just woke up, and today is a new day. Today's a new day. I woke up with a post about the, um, what's her name? <laughs> My brain is not working. She talks about the Florida, oh, I see, I see. Uh, she talks about the, um, you know, how Earth is splitting, 3D Earth to 5D Earth. And we are all choosing right now. And I think it's about the frequency. It's not about once you pick and you always stay there. I think it's um, in the traditional period. We move around you know sometimes we're on this 3d earth and 5d earth interacting people on 5d earth and interacting people on 3d earth as both are equally true and it's not about oh i made it right it's is a consistent work it's like what are we releasing what are we working on what are we focusing on right so focus on the positive thoughts and know that everything is working out 
and uh, we're at Aries energy right now. Aries about the first zodiac season, so zodiac sign where we are so driven and take action, take action, that type of energy. So ego is at up front. So we need to check our ego in a sense. It's like, okay, are we connected to our heart? <laughs> so that's a, that's, a, that's a good checklist. But also at the same time, um, in the middle of the day, we're moving to Taurus energy, which is a big manifestation energy. This is when everything is coming together. So it's super powerful. At the same time, there's a nervousness that comes, right? Like just before like things will happen, it's like, oh, is it going to happen? Right? So there's a lot of excitement and nervousness. So those are the energy. I think it's... <laughs> in general energy strong every single day so just um check in with ourselves before you meet anybody else i think it's very important because more than ever discernment is this mine or is this them right and if you live with someone uh or if you have family those things are very blur it's like everything is like mush mush up <laughs> but i think it's important that okay this is where I am today. I woke up feeling like this. I had this crazy dream. Yeah, so I woke up this uh, crazy, fearful dream that I was alone in a big house. And I was just like really sad and lonely and scared. I was like, wow, I had this in that subconscious pool. <laughs> it's just start coming out. I think it's um, the theme sadness uh, start to come up quite a bit. Like, um, I feel ev behind every anger, there's sadness not to be, you know, not to be understood, not to be seen. And um, I feel like I've carried out a lot the sadness. It's that, uh, you know, I talk about in my Japanese culture that like there's a wabi-sabi. There's kind of like, it's a melancholic feeling of you can't change things, you can't control things. Change is constant in life, and I feel very sad about it. <laughs> and that kind of calming but sadness. And I think that's also the beauty of life at the same time. I probably judged that part of the life, you know, for a very long time. And the judgment creates a lot of emotions, triggers a lot of emotions. So more than ever, use our discernment, but also be kind and non-judgmental it's okay because it's like you never know you can't in a short span things look bad <laughs> but you can't you can't judge it you have to see the bigger picture okay my hands are cold <laughs> it is cold today so let's step into energy let's quickly move our um head because i think it's like when um Ego is an upfront, like Aries energy today. It says 18. So one Leo, I love, I decide, I, I take action. So now find the temple area, right palm, place it, fingers backward, fingers pointing backwards, left hands, fingers pointing forward. I squish my head like a marshmallow. Once it's once I'm ready, twist the skin right side forward and left side backward. Move on. Expand your fascia in 3D. And breathe. Breathe. Your nose. Mm. One of the things I notice is as we are moving to 3D Earth, our DNA is changing. It used to be carbon-based DNA, carbon-based. And now we are in the uh, middle, in the transition. So we're moving from carbon DNA to crystalline-based crystal made of water and silica. And it's the same chemical composition as fascia. And so this is how I connect, like what I'm doing, you know, what I'm so passionate about moving fascia. Fascia is made of water and silica. It's basically moving this liquid crystal, liquid crystal <laughs> inside of our body. And so as we move our fascia, just make it flappy. 
as we, you know, I imagine moving fascia being that, you know, moving for carbon DNA to crystalline DNA. And it's like everything started to be become lighter, the light body, right? Become the light. And so just in the process, sometimes I keep telling myself, it's like, okay, I feel like it's like I so many trauma in my body. It's a pattern that needs to be reversed, but just surrender, just be, just trust. Okay, let's do jar. This is something that I coming up for me. Like I, I tend to clench jar when I'm stressed. And this is what you can do. Three fingers, TMJ. Find the area where you feel uh, your jar is moving. TMJ. Pressure in, twist the skin right side forward and then left side backwards. This is awesome. You quickly release the tension of your jaw. And then you just go anywhere you like and breathe. Breathe through your mouth. Two, three, three nose, two, three. Mm. I felt better. Sinus release. Take your right hand, go to the left side of your nose, pin it gently, and take your left hand. And you do quick, quick stretch and find the area that gives you gives you the most stretch. Once you stretch, you move around, you're opening up your sinus, uh, sinus, sinus, breathe your mouth. Two. Also feel it in my neck. Three. To your nose. Two. Three. Hmm. Other side, take your left hand, go into the right side of your nose, and you stretch. Find the area where you can stretch these two points. It's super powerful to opening up, open up your head. Breathing. Breathe. Your nose. Two. Three. Mm. Let's go chest. And I just pull the skin up and down. So create some space. You can just go straight, opening up your heart. I've been thinking about, you know, in terms of opening our fascia and releasing stress and elevate ourselves. I think it's important to be aware of what you put in our body. And some people are, you know, very strict about their diet and choose all organic, which is, you know, very good, right? But um, I'm, I'm, my diet is mixed. Like, definitely I'm not as strict as other human girls people who, you know, I, I really appreciate that. And when I'm in with them and with the team, human girls team, I definitely just want organic and you know uh, I my body prefers hi good morning Jonathan but uh, living in Vancouver sometimes it's hard you know uh, when when every time I can access the organic food I will go for that and it's more expensive I but every time I buy something valuable even like organic food over known organic food I tell myself I deserve it I'm worthy of good quality food. <laughs> and this is how I practice my abundance. But, um, uh, but it's sometimes hard. Like, you know, you, you sometimes you want to enjoy Japanese food. <laughs> and if they're not necessarily organic. But I tell myself at the end of it, it doesn't matter what you eat. It doesn't matter, um, like... Like combination, balance, good balance of moving your body, moving your mind, releasing emotions, releasing your tension patterns. And, and then basically just like tune into your body because, you know, when you, um, let's say, when you come across negative energy or someone said about something and then you notice like your body tense up, can you catch yourself when, you, when your body reacts? When your body, you feel like some type of tension or when you like literally watching the TV and you have the reaction of something in your body, can you catch yourself? It's like, oh, I have a little pain in my stomach or, oh, I have a little pain in my neck because when something is, 
<laughs> when something is chronic, it just becomes default for us and you don't catch yourself anymore, right? So I think it's all about self-awareness. Like, can you catch yourself when, when something happens and you have the reaction in your body? So that's why first in the morning, it's like when you wake up, like, how do I feel? How do I feel? Like, like feeling overthinking, feeling overthinking. It's like, how do I feel? How am I feeling? So if you were able to really tune into your body, you know when you eat bad food or maybe you catch yourself. <laughs> you should be able to catch yourself before you eat bad food, but you ended up eating bad food, but it means something. Maybe, you know, I noticed that sometimes like, sometimes like there was a one time that like I decided to drink alcohol. Um, that was a New Year's Eve. And I just choose to do that. I just wanted to let loose. And I noticed that actually instead of working as something as negative it actually loosening up loosen up my body sometimes we crave some toxins to let things release some toxins out you know what i mean like so at the end of it there's not a, it's not so much about right this is right this is correct this is good or bad it's more about what is good at the moment in time so at the end of it it's very important to chew into your body so whether that the positive thoughts or negative thoughts or good food, bad food, or good people, bad people, good energy, bad energy, it, just know that when you experienced it, you can you have a choice to let go. <laughs> you have a choice to release. So I I hope that this idea can help us release any fear. You know, it's like, oh, I don't want to eat this food or I don't want to go into this function because it's bad energy, you know, because it's all about perception. This world is literally the mixture of light and shadow. Like you can't be you can't say that this person is just light, right? It's a mixture of both. Maybe some people are more cling on to shadow, or maybe the energy of the day. But then at the end of it, when you felt it, if you earn the technique, like there's so many modalities. I think fashion maneuvers is one thing. It's like you felt it. Okay, there's a little tension in my back of my head. Okay, what we can do? Maybe just like pin the fascia from the back and pin the skin. And then just like move. Fascia like to twist. Fascia like to move slow. Fascia like to feel safe. So you can just move your fascia in 3D everywhere. So I'm like, you can go sideways. You can go diagonal. You can even crush them. So that's what I will do. You go in the back, and I just like use my weight of my head, and I'm just like opening, and I just let the body guide me, and I move around. I don't have the budget, so I just pray over my food and pray over my water. Yeah, that's a good idea too. You know, there was a time that I used to drink tap water, and I study alchemy class, like. <laughs> alchemy basically like based on egyptian you know uh golden like basically um the technique that turn any dirt into gold <laughs> and we have a power we do have a power so i used to put every time i drink water or boil water and then put you know just create a gold pyramid and the gold represent power Pyramid is powerful. It's amplify the energy. So set the intention and um, um, release, push away all that, um, push away all, you know, um, like the negativity out and uh, all across same time, space and dimension. I set the intention and I kind of just like, what am I doing right now? And what am I about to do? It's kind of like the same thing. We all have healing power. And then using that hand power and then um, power of intention. And I just like bless the water, bless the food. And it seems very, uh, you know, if you are not energy conscious, like it seems like, it's like, is this really working? I think we all start from somewhere, right? But I, as you kind of just like, with set the intention and we do have electromagnetic field so you started to feel some tingling sensation 
pulsing sensation. That's how you actually work with fascia, right? Work with people. And uh, once you like really tune to your energy and tune to your body, and then this is me and this is them, or okay, this is how I'm feeling right now and I'm sending the intention into the food or water, then you can really elevate that vibration at the end of it, everything is frequency. Sound is frequency. Our thought is frequency. Our emotions are frequency, right? Everything is delusional, but it's just like it doesn't exist. It's all frequency. So it works. Also, as you start to move your fascia, and um, if you don't have a lot of budget, and um, this, is what, this is what I teach online, offline, uh, group and private. So if you guys are interested, um, today I'm subbing and covering for Brit. Uh, so I'm going to be on Instagram Live 2 p.m. PST if you ever want to join. But I also have my Insta, Insta Live Fashion Maneuvers class on Monday at 4 p.m. PST. Um, I teach people how to move their own fascia. Fascia is your container, is your structure that holds everything inside. Muscles, bones, meridians, nerves, organs, you name it. So once you open up your fascia, everything else have inside have more room to function properly. And you think you're fat or you think you're inflamed, everything is just, you're not aging, you're not getting old. It's just the compression of fascia and the dehydration of fascia. So you just like hydrate your fascia, move your fascia. If you don't have a lot of budget, one thing you can do and get for yourself is Diamond Tomatoes Earth Food Grade. So Tomatoes Earth Food Grade. And um, somehow I, I meant to say this right now. So Diamond Tomatoes Earth Food Grade is like, it's like a fossil shell. <laughs> And it's, it's sand, basically, and uh, from the ocean. And it's a white powder, looks like flour, but diatom is, has a sharp crystal. Again, I'm talking about crystallite, crystalline DNA, right? Our DNA changing from carbon DNA to light, like crystalline DNA. So it totally makes sense for me to take diamond matrix to earth because diamond matrix earth is 70% silica, Hydrate your skin, hair, and fascia. And the crystal is so sharp, people use it for gardening to kill insects. So that means it can kill parasite in your gut. So it's awesome for gut cleansing. And detoxify heavy metals, it flashes out. So this is the technique. And this is how what we do, educate people properly because nothing moves. You can't move the energy if you're dehydrated, right? Because it's real water. Hi, Mona Lisa. And um, uh, so uh, we take silica. You need to hydrate yourself. You need silica, minerals, and vitamins. And for silica, uh, when I first started this uh, Human Garage Fascial Maneuvers journey, I used to take uh, silica horsetail supplement. And when we switch from that, to Diamond Tomatoes Earth food grade that I came common, um, I felt that difference in my body. It was more elevating. And, and then I'll do that. And then um, for minerals, I think a lot of people take Celtic salt or trace minerals. Those are the things that I was recommended when I first started this journey. And we were introduced to Irish sea moss and I felt a difference. And the reason why we recommend Irish sea moss is because it has 92 minerals out of 102 found in the body. It's just a great way to get that minerals ready. And, and then vitamins, you can take it from food or um, human garage don't have multi, we don't have um, multivitamin supplements. So you can get it, you know, by organic supplements. Those are like good investment for yourself. Literally, if you started to fix your hydration, your body observes more nutrients. So you don't need anything else, really. So and everything else is cherry on top. But if you don't have the cake, <laughs> these cherries don't shine in your body. So uh, if your budget is low, uh, one thing you can get for yourself 
is a diatomaceous earth food grade. You can get it from a health store, Whole Foods, or even Amazon. And it's not a bit expensive product. It will last quite a long time. Yeah. How much to take and how often? So if you want to buy a supplement from Human Garage, the product is called Fascial Foundation. And just a difference, and this is how we found ourselves. So um, you can go to humangarage.net and you take a look at it. And uh, the product, is, uh, it's everything is vegan, organic, garage, um, and super powerful. But um, most importantly, the Fascial Foundation has, um, sorry, Fascial Foundation has uh, ashwagandha. So the intention is to further relax the fascia, relaxes the, because ashwagandha is awesome for anxiety. You know, it's like everything stuff from the stress. So just calm down the nervous system and get the base elements ready. So you can take a look at that. Uh, but if you buy a bag of Dimensionaceous Earth, you can start with one teaspoon, one teaspoon. And even one teaspoon, if you feel constipated, you can decrease the amount. And it lets your body get used to uh, that because it's, it's a sand, right? So if you are dehydrated, it's just like the sand sucks your water and, and temporarily you may become constipated if you're super dehydrated already. But most people are fine to so start with the one teaspoon and decrease the, uh, increase the dose up to three or four teaspoons, whatever your muscle <laughs> testing tells you, your heart, your heart. <laughs> yeah, it will make a huge difference. So if you're new to Human Garage and Fashion Universe Journey, get your silica, get your diamonds, make sure serve food grade, and then and then start to move your fascia, it will make a huge difference. Since I've been using it to eat fascial, uh, facials, hair care, and being better 100%. Yeah, right? Like, I believe in it. I've been taking these, um, you know, properly hy hydrating ourselves and moving our fascia. And I do go through emotional, you know, like the healing. And this is what I'm focusing on because, okay, I know how to reduce my stress. I know how to reduce my inflammation. I know how to hydrate my fascia. I know how to move my fascia. So what else I need to do to heal myself is to really work on my emotional pattern and uh, core belief about myself. And so as I'm using my opportunity, like outside, the coming up for me, using that as an opportunity to, to look inside. And now that's why I'm working through my emotional pattern. But um, it's good to do that at the simultaneously, you know, hydrate your fascia. Uh, all of that. I just started taking six days ago because of these lives. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so glad to hear. My nails grow so so long. My hair is so healthy and long. I love how I feel when I eat that transformation serve as a snack before bed. <laughs> as a snack, like a scent. <laughs> you put it in your water. 100% I gave what you're saying. Oh, I'm so grateful. I feel like you know, like when you hear um, testimonials like this, oh, because of you, I started this, or because of you, I do this and I feel good. Like, it's like, makes me so happy. Like, obviously, it's like, oh, uh, what I do means something. You have to take Damasmaceous Earth with silica. So Damasmaceous Earth is silica. <laughs> so you don't have to take two if you have Damasmaceous Earth. Make sure it's food grade. So it is edible. But uh, Damasmaceous Earth food grade is 70% silica. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so if you haven't taken silica, um, I, I'm going to, I should start reposting more of a before after photo of my own transformation. Uh, I think it's like picture tells a lot of stories and it gives huge impacts rather than me talking blah, blah, blah. blah. My face changed so much. My body changed so much. And I'm a firm believer now at this point, you know, I'm no longer believing aging what it was, what was taught. It's not. Picture stories. Yeah, it tells so much. And um, yeah, <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of hope. We don't have to, we're not going to age like, um, you know, we came out of dark ages. We're going. We're in this age of Aquarius. We age differently, anyways. So, 
it's all about moving from carbon DNA to crystalline DNA to change our look. Yeah, yeah, we all know that our thought creates the world. Our thought creates our face and our emotions show up in our face, right? And show up in our body. So it's about, that. that's where I feel, you know, I wouldn't say this uh, uh, from the ego perspective. I feel like that's really differentiate um, like people who go to Botox and fillers from people who are like me. Like I don't need to, I don't need those things, but I will make that happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's their movement for constipation. Yeah, so constipation is what are you holding? <laughs> what are you holding here, girl? <laughs> Anyways, um, it's we are balloon. We're water. And then this giant tubes all over our body. And it's you constipated because there's no flow. <laughs> Everything is like mush. <laughs> Everything is compressed. So you need to break down the tissue. So hydrate your fascia is one of the number one thing. But what you can do is create a lot of flow. So you have to move around. You can use your hands like an acupuncture. You can start with the belly button. Belly button, squeeze it in, tweak, twerk, move around, and then breathe. Breathe. Yeah. And you can do a soa stretch. So going to belly button, two inches to the right, two inches down. There's these are points and the other points, three points. So belly button on the side, just the uh, middle point between your belly button and hip bones. These are really powerful. So I will go into that. And then I will also go into bladder. So just above that cubic bone. And I pressure in. And I just keep moving around, keep bringing some flow. Ah, we got to let go. There's nothing to hold. You know, sometimes like, no, but I like this. But even the stuff that we like, I think is there's a lot of beauty in letting go. Just let go of everything. Because nothing to hold. Because it's all energy. It circulates, right? So... I think it's time for us to release that type of fear. <laughs> yeah, crystalline bodies, yes. And for um, literally for, um, especially like, you know, I gave you this four points, belly button here, ileocecal valve, pancreas, and bladder. But I would say when you want to have like the bowel movement in the morning and to what helps you is the pancreas. So belly button, two inches to the left, two inches down, right here on the left side, uh, just above your hip flexor on the left side. This point, <laughs> you can pull the skin, pressure in, don't be afraid, you're not gonna hurt yourself, and pull it and pull it towards you uh, belly button. So pull it up. And then I will go into that um, pressure point and as I'm sitting on the toilet, <laughs> and then I twerk the skin like this, same way, towards the belly button. And then you can, uh, you can add an extra twist if you want. If you just keep moving like that, it will help you add extra pressure to <laughs> push it out. <laughs> it works 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 33 and I'm just getting younger. Yeah, we're just getting started, guys, right? <laughs> yeah, get that, get that, you know. What we believe is what we become. Okay, so let's read this. Um, today, your net nine, I act, I am, is a ruling state of awareness, pulling ego, action, motion, survival, and defensive energy to the front of the line. You may have awakened to a mental list of things to do, goals to achieve or accomplishment to make. You may feel behind before you even get started. The energy can feel rest or restless, anxious, or impulsive from the start. That's the Aries energy. I joined at just the right time. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Good morning. Uh, the, best way, the best way to start, net, start a net nine day is some activity, exercise, chores, yoga, a brisk walk, or even dancing can unite your mind, body, and spirit into a cohesive team within yourself. It's also an excellent day to practice the sport or activity. You'll find your body more alert and responsive today over the other days. So just adding, you know, what I just said, <clears throat> at the end of it, you don't have to worry about 
what you eat or you know what you have in your body it's about bringing back flow in order to bring back flow you gotta move you gotta let go and so that there's more constant flow inside of our body when you started to tune in there's always the area that it tends to get tighter than the other parts for me it's like neck area it's like here i like to carry things <laughs> i like to carry things and stop with awareness how can we bring more flow and fluidity and the water inside our body you gotta move when you notice you gotta let just you know set the intention shake it off shake it off shake it off i think shaking is such a <clears throat> powerful movement shake 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 just always tune into your body like feeling the sensation feeling the skin and feeling that feeling the air that touches our skin so that's why breath staying present can bring back back to our body and that is how we i feel that is how we can stay present and live in the moment moment to moment and staying forever fluid and youthful yeah <laughs> it's not about it's not you know what you eat is important but also what you're doing what you pattern and that that's um that determines the direction in life are you hopeful are you optimistic are you more fluid do you, are you trusting right so but it takes practice because we we have practiced the opposite side for such a long time we all have a you know um victim mentality in some area so it's like catch yourself it's like it's not about what's happening outside it's about us it's about me it's going in let's just reverse the pattern for good right so and then continue reading it um, in your personal narrative today is about moving ahead with new relationship changes and updates if you spend the week negotiating terms with a person business or organization today is when you will be ready to kick things off follow through with any official actions such as signing a contract making a purchase or at minimum shaking hands on a deal if you have agreed to a philosophy or certain terms or policies today you should begin that policy if something was agreed to end this is the best moment to end the old terms or agreement anything that you start today will carry a spiritual moment mo momentum that helps to keep it alive through time any behavior or habit that you end today will stay that way so let's set that intention if you're involved in a long-term agreement that moves in stages today you will see the relationship moving to the next phase a creative project or a long-term manifestation should be moving to the next step today each of your stories today move ahead to the next step of your relationships only take action that your heart is fully committed to see through the end i tell myself who's the boss who's the boss <laughs> my heart who's the boss my heart <laughs> i think it's like a good practice every time you have my mind is like trying to take over right that's not what we're doing anymore who's the boss um, take the next take the step necessary to advance your plans for upgrading your daily activities behavior or making improvement to your life in general any action should be aligned with your heart move ahead with your long-term plans intellectual creations analysis or legal work today is a perfect perfect day to break grants on a big project such as a book artwork or computer program Today's goal is to move forward with the relationship changes your heart is committed to. Use care in actions. It's a good reminder to know that when Aries Day comes, which is net to nine, it's all about taking action, initiated, like it's the starting, but I'm also ending of some bad patterns. So that's the energy. Combination of the net nine energy and the I receive Libra can be inflammatory and explosive. <laughs> if relationship has been under tension, anger, or conflict, so they can push the situation to a red zone. This is why it is important to focus on things your heart is committed to. Anything can anything else can be a waste of energy or make matters worse. Move carefully. Every action today has a heartfelt purpose. So mindfulness <laughs> mindfulness 
And um, in the middle of the day, around in a few hours, we'll move to step 19, which is the manifestation day. If you're feeling a little triggered, suspenseful, uh, not being a little skeptical, you're not alone. When you manifest something, um, it's, just, it's just the nervousness comes up. So if you're feeling this way, it, tell yourself it's okay because you may be worried everything will work out. The emotional feeling is suspenseful. The best course, course of action when it hits 19, you probably feel that uh, the energy shift, right? Um, um, is to, uh, you, you, you let your worries away. That is imagine sending thoughts and feelings of love to the parts of yourself worry. You know, I think the worry will never go away. It's just, it's part of human nature, survival mode. But I think it's about disengaging a part of ourselves. Just, it's okay. I think we all come up with some type of sentence. Like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's going to work out. Right? I didn't see any discomfort. Pluto stationed directly today at 29 Capricorn. This officially put the transformative energy of Pluto directly on the path of personal ascension. Those who respond directly to their feelings and pass up the opportunity to bend their feelings onto the world well, experience a powerful growth moment. So I was hearing this pep talk. I think if I'm not wrong, Pluto is never really a Capricorn and that's very rare. I think it's only come back to every 200 something years. And so you will never see in a day <laughs> while you're alive, Pluto will be a Capricorn. And Capricorn is a very strong determination, commitment, discipline, leadership type of energy. This is where Pluto is about boundaries, right? Like we are literally choosing timelines. Do you see where I'm heading? Um, boundary setting. This is how I live my life. It's a commitment. It's like tell yourself. It doesn't matter what people are doing. This is how I live myself, live my life, love myself, put myself first. And I believe that if I live and live and I know who I am, I love myself, I am loved, I am I value myself, I am valued, I am provided, I am safe and I'm protected. Whatever's happening in the whole world, I know where I can find myself. This is how I show up to my world and this is how I show up to the world then that's a strong statement in putting that out to the universe. And so that, you know, that's a transformative energy. So what are you deciding? <laughs> what are we deciding and what are we, uh, what's our life's model, right? So if you know who you are and that's create a life and what we are doing like what I'm doing every single day is showing up and talk about the topic that I, I need to work through or what I'm getting good at. <laughs> and um, so that it gives me a lot of hope. It's like, oh, I can work through this because life, I just noticed there's so many layers to one thing, so many perspectives. Things didn't work out. It's not just one thing. It's not just the one element. It's just noticing so many layers to things. And maybe I was not able to see some of the perspective, but I felt I was feeling the negative energy behind it. That's why I had to make some decisions. I now know that. But I just know that, okay, now I know myself better. I'm moving through my energy and I know myself more. I value myself and I love myself and I, I show more a compassion, compassion for myself. And I know that I create my own life and it's all about me shifting, shifting, shifting. So standing in my own power and make a statement today. <laughs> so let's just set the intention. Whatever that comes up, you can address it. And, you know, it's, this is the work. It may not happen in a day, but transmuting your energetic field every single day, what is mine, what is not, you know, what, think about what belongs to our heart, right? 
So tapping into our heart energy and uh, our ego, ego is tr always trying to protect us, always trying to give us what it thinks it wants. That's what it is. What it thinks I want. <laughs> so it's just like very, you know, automatic is programming. What are we programming? Because mind is keep giving us what it thinks I want, we want, we need. But maybe not all the time that's not the case. So just coming back to heart and every time we get to have a choices, we, we get to have choices and we get to set, we get to set new intentions. And this is what my heart belongs moving forward. And this is how it is. You value, I value myself and I'm worthy of a perfect, a worthy of perfect relationship with people, worthy of respectful and loving and caring perfect relationships with your mouth two three through your nose two three Once you know your boundaries with yourself and your birthright and you enforce that boundaries, it's not about protecting with our ego, but it's about coming from the power. Like this is who I am. I don't settle for nothing less. I am powerful. This is how I show up to my life. I value myself and I'm valued. Being valuable, being, take, being taken care of by people, is my birthright and i show up with so much authenticity and i give myself free freely right i share part of me and i'm always put myself first so if you come up if you show up and then just know your energy first in the morning and enforcing keep enforcing this you know a couple times a day checking in checking with your body and so that because you are so aware of where you stand, when you, when you interact with other people and you notice like a checkpoint, like it's like, okay, this energy comes from their ego. That doesn't belong to me. You can sort of feel tearing out. It's not like pushing people away, pushing the part of themselves that don't resonate with my heart. I see that. Like, I have like some close friends that I know them and I respect them and they were very conscious, they have power, but then I know when they are navigating or talk to me or interact with me with that type of energy, it's like, no, my heart doesn't belong to this. I think if you are able to, you know, until you are able to establish that kind of connection within yourself, it's very hard to interact with people who try to constantly manipulate us right like subconsciously but if you know that it's like no i am strong i am powerful i'm on my own and and if you uh if you show up with that type of energy you know when to listen you you know when not to listen <laughs> and because you know you put yourself first and but it's it's hard like if you live with somebody that is constantly trying to drag you down that's when you probably we had to make that decision. And I think it's like we're all going through relationship changes, more or less. Like, that's the truth. But it's time for us to really go inside. In this Libra season, it's all about relationship with yourself, relationship with others, relationship with the world. Think about what kind of relationship we want. So by establishing that, we can show up to the world with that intention, with that boundaries. So anything less, we catch <laughs> my heart belongs to the good positive thinking and value myself all the way let's put ourselves on a pedestal <laughs> pedestal <laughs> we are fabulous we're healthy we trust ourselves and sometimes our mind talks negatively and speak against that and just see the part of ourselves with so much compassion and love. Like, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I'm feeling this way. It's okay. Yeah, it's very sad. It's very frustrating. Yes, but it's okay. 
everything is gonna work out. <laughs> this is the work. This is the work. It's the repeat repetition. <laughs> and it gets better every time because we know that. We're just reprogramming our fascia. You know, we, we will do it until it's really ingrained in us. So I tapped 19 times and I picked two car cards popped up. So one is stop judging and start loving. Shit talking is so last season, so stop judging and start loving. Our biggest challenge on this spiritual journey is transforming our fear into love. The Hamusa or Hands of Farima is a powerful sign of protection against evil, jealousy, and insecurities. We judge others when we feel insecure, scared, lonely, or seeking a deeper change. Judgment wears the mask of making us feel superior in the moment, but often leads to feelings of guilt, which in return brings you both down. We can only focus on one thing at a time, so choose love over fear. To put an end to fear and invoke love, we must surrender our ego to spirit, forced to flow. Yeah, yeah, must surrender. Tapping into a feminine energy right there, right? Must surrender our ego to spirit, forced to flow. Anxiety to calmness. So moving from force, forcing to flow, right? Anxiety to calmness, sadness to joy violence into peace, and selfishness into generosity. Instead of bashing what you hate, start celebrating what you love. If you wouldn't say it to their face, don't say it behind their back. The journey of self-acceptance takes practice. Start with putting a stop to negative self-talk. Pay attention to your thoughts and push them into positive direction by offering a compliment right off the bat. Put yourself in their shoes and stop trying to change them. If they aren't your cup of tea, get a new drink. I turn my judgment into compliments and my fear into love. Sometimes we go so much outside. Yeah. Yeah, stop judging. <laughs> stop loving. Yeah, I know it's, everything is a sign. I think it's, it's all transmuting. It's like when you catch yourself being stagnant and catch yourself, it's like, hmm, it doesn't all flow here. It's like, why it's not flowing? Is that me or is that them? But most likely it's me because you're catching. <laughs> and so using that as an inspiration to go inwards and bring more flow into our body, bring more flow into our mind. And this is a practice. Transform fear into love. This really touches me. Yeah, that's awesome. The sound in the back when you start to read, yes, <laughs> it's all part of that, part of that process. And you are perfectly beautiful. Celebrate your differences because you are perfectly beautiful just the way you naturally are. It's easy to fall victim of obsessing over others' opinions of us. We waste time worrying if, we'd, if, if we'll be accepted or rejected by others. We wait for others to tell us we are beautiful and discredit the compliments when they come. One of the exercises that I did a couple of days ago was write down a thing the compliments that you wish other people gave you in the past so you know we all have like the compliments that we want we love receiving just receive it to yourself first because we need because this we live in this world where when we acknowledge what whatever we acknowledge will show up we live in this world whatever we acknowledge inside will show up in the outer world that's what it is so when we acknowledge this is what we want, it will show up. Yeah. So uh, I have already settled it for myself. So flattery, flattery and criticism go down the same drain and I'm quite free. There are so many layers and perspective to things. And when you started to write down your compliments, I shared this a couple of days ago. I noticed that some statement, it's uh, my mind was not arguing over it because I practice so much this affirmation that it sit well with me, my mind is not arguing, my heart feels right. So practice, I think that's a good practice when you write down something, your mind is it's like, oh, it's like, you know, like for example, I, when I wrote down, I am confident, my mind was not arguing so much. 
because I've been working on <laughs> feeling confidence. I just show up anyway. So I don't really pay attention to nothing less than I'm less confident. So I just do it, right? It's like, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily think I'm confident. I just naturally do. Like my mind is not arguing over it. Yeah, equal. She does it anyways. <laughs> you know what I mean? She does it anyways. So yeah, that's, I felt the growth. And when I wrote down, I am provided. That hit me really hard. Just like, you know, just like what uh, someone said. It's like transmute love into, yeah, the Larry, you said, transform fear into love. This really touches me. We all have a sentence that hit us harder than the other sentences, right? And so that's the, that's the, that's the part that we need to walk through when you come across some sentence or write down something that is like, okay, this needs work, this feels, this makes me emotional, you know, that, that's, use it as a sign, for me, I am provided, that gives me huge relief, it's like, if this is true for me, then I don't need to fear over money anymore, I don't need to have fear over, it's like, I need to, like, hustle myself so much to bring back, bringing in abundance to afford the rent, because now I have to pay more rent, <laughs> so, if you pull this card, it's time to stop trying to police people who are too concerned with themselves to notice your brilliance. You were created to contribute to unique sparkle magic by just being your perfectly beautiful self. Stay true to your authentic essence and embrace your perfectly imperfect flaws. Send love to all parts of your body. We are all different, yet we all experience the same self sabotage thoughts and struggles. Of course, we all want to be loved by others, but real self-worth begins when you start loving and accepting yourself color curves and all it's called self-love because you only you can fulfill that need give yourself permission to love yourself i am perfectly beautiful and i'm lovingly accept my whole self i love myself i accept myself i love myself i like accept myself you can say that like a chanting, it's a spelling. Also, um, also, it's a good practice. When you go to the bathroom, you see yourself in the mirror, you wash your, face, uh, wash your hands. It's like, I love you, I see you, I accept you, and today is a good day. You know, <laughs> like, it's like, like a chanting. I think it's, um, we need to remind ourselves that, you know, we, it's all start with us. I love myself. It's it hit differently. I didn't believe in myself for loving myself, but it's the practice. It just be sometimes surrender and it just accept that truth, absolute truth, birthright. We are loved, we're cared, we're safe and protected, we're provided. And we need to re keep reprogramming, you know, part of us that we didn't accept this truth, part of us accepted wrong belief about ourselves. We need to dig into that. That's why um, outside opportunity is just giving us the opportunity, <laughs> reminding us what we are holding on to. We have that power to reverse it. In order to do so, we need to continue to reinforce our boundaries and empower ourselves like we are stronger than we think and we are resilient. One thing I notice about myself, this is one of my very much like strength that I notice is um, I am very disciplined. <laughs> I am very disciplined. I know how to show up. And maybe that showing up looks like maybe 100%, sometimes 80%, sometimes 30%. But I know how to show up for myself. And I know how to just discipline myself. And it's just in nature. Maybe because I practice this so much. And... I, I sometimes it's all about how you use your power, how you use your, how you notice your pattern and rise above it, right? Use it as your advantage. Use anything as your advantage. <laughs> use your negativity as your advantage, if that makes sense. So I think that's another good sentence. Rise above it, like rise above it. Know that this, I had this part of myself and it's okay. I'm working on myself. I love myself, accept myself more. And um, I choose to rise above it. This is how I feel tapping into this 5D, 5D energy, right? <laughs> this is how transmute, transmuting, transforming ourselves. 
So uh, I hope that uh, give you uh, some insight of the day. Take action on the on the things that you decide and you manifest. And it doesn't have to be anything tangible. It could be tangible. It could be intangible. But it's all illusion at the end. What are we creating? Focus on a feeling. Focus on the feeling. I, you know, what I started to do when I notice, uh, when I see, come across something like, you know, let's say like couples being so loving, so I love you. And it's like, before that, I, I would used to see this as a trigger, right? Like trigger. And it's like, oh, I wish I could have that kind of thing. But I don't really see that as a sourness anymore, jealous feeling. It's like, oh, I love this. My heart belongs to this. I had, I, my heart belongs to this. I love this. Okay. Tap into the feeling that they're feeling. Okay. Remember the feeling. This is what I want. This is what I want. So use your heart, use your feeling, and this is how we manifest. I had a huge breakthrough yesterday, and I'm so excited for change. Yeah, right? So just keep empowering yourself. Keep enforcing, enforcing our boundaries for ourselves. This is our birthright. This is how we show up to the world. So... <laughs> Repetition is good. Thank you guys for showing up and uh, co-creating with me. And I really appreciate every one of you people who are watching or watching this recording. And um, I love showing up for myself. I am disciplined and I will never give up on myself. <laughs> good or bad, I, love, I choose to love and accept myself. So thank you guys for being on this journey with me and let's elevate ourselves to even higher, more joyful, expansive version of ourselves. Have a great um, Thanksgiving weekend. I'm not sure North America will have a Thanksgiving, maybe just Canadian. Um, but um, yeah, it's just like a list of things that we are thankful for and have a great weekend and I'll see you back on Monday at 9 p.m. Sorry, 9 a.m. PST. Yes, girl power, woman, you know, woman. It's time to rise up and show the world how feminine power, that divine, sacred, this calm, strong, fluid, powerful energy of divine femininity, right? It's time for us to rise up and just be. Okay, have a great every day. Yeah, it's November. Okay, so it's just a Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.